on Los Angeles, back live here on Radio Row. Uh, beautiful day out here in Vegas, some sunshine, a little cold though. It, little... Rained, all, it rained all day yesterday. All day yesterday. It, it was raining in LA too though, yeah. so it's all good. It, we yeah, brought yeah. it with us from LA to here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, special guest for you, former Ram, Cameron Lynch, joining us to talk all things Rams, LA football, maybe a little Super Bowl. We'll see if we sprinkle that in or not. I got Chiefs in three, Chiefs by, over, over the 49ers. Okay, there, there we go. We covered Sorry. it. Covered there the we go. We're done. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, I'm a Octa player. I'm a player's guy. I like Christian McCaffrey, but those are my, the two guys that i am got my eye on. But, yeah, uh, Chiefs in three. Love it. Love right. it. So, but yeah, thanks for coming on, man. How's uh, When did you get into town? How's uh, Vegas been treating you so far? Woo, man, people don't realize – this is y'all's first radio row or second, fourth, third. fourth? Well, his fourth, my third. Yeah. So, so 2018 was my first one. What was your first one? Uh, it was 2020, Miami. Miami, so Right okay. before everything shut down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you know, it's a marathon. Yeah. It's self-care, you know, from 1 to 3 o'clock. That's all I'm doing a radio row. After that, I'm done. But I got here Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday did radio row yesterday. Today's Thursday. So I'm, I'm going to be done here at like 3.30. I got to do self-care, yeah. man. I got to go work out. Uh, I'm here till Tuesday. So, oh, wow. so it's a long, it's a long week. So, and, and Vegas is not a great place to do self care. It's, it's uh, well, a challenging place, I should say. There's yeah. a lot of opportunity for self care, but a lot of opportunity <laughs> for self deprecation as well. <laughs> a lot of that. A lot, as they say, Sin City. Well, but you know, playing sports, you got to be disciplined. Same thing here. Same practice. So when I come here, I pick a couple things. Okay, I'm gonna go to this at from one o'clock, this at five o'clock, and this at six. In the bed at nine every day, ten o'clock in the house, because. I mean, we're here talking all day. Yeah, it's you get it. It's exhausting. So people that at home that don't that don't know, Radio Row is a beast, and so you gotta drink water, yeah. gotta hydrate. Yeah, <laughs> my, buddy's sure. flying, my buddy's flying in today. I said, hey, gotta hydrate, bro. Drink yeah. some Pedialyte. <laughs> you know, I, I, I turned him onto a supplement called Milk Thistle. No, oh, oh, game changer. Stop, game changer. Oh, let me <laughs> let me put my seat up. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't make stuff up. I mean, I'm just meeting y'all for the first time. It's a game changer. 2024. Milk thistle. Yeah. You take three capsules before you go drinking. Take three capsules right before you go to bed. And you wake up, hang out, hang over free. I'm a tequila guy. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a, you know, Casamigos. You, Casamigos, all right. Yeah. I mean, well, actually, I, I drink I drink any type of liquor. I just got to limit myself. Yeah. yeah. I got to limit myself, you know, boundaries. Moderation. Like I'm doing. Yeah. Discipline. I got married recently. So. Congrats. You know, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You, yeah thank you. Are you all married? Yeah. yeah. You, uh, no. But I've been with my I've been with my girl for much oh, 14 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's married. Yeah, I wouldn't let my wife come in here. She'd be like, "What are you waiting for?" <laughs> Sorry, we don't. Want, can we talk about relationships? Do whatever we want. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's taking you so long? What's that? What's taking you so long? 14 years. She doesn't right. want to get married. If you don't mind me asking, she okay. doesn't. She doesn't oh. want to get married. I, I'm cool with it. If oh. it is, if it isn't broken. I'm not fixing it. Amen, brother. Amen. It saves you, it saves you at least ten grand on a ring, at least. That's oh. <laughs> ten grand. What? <laughs> is it a tax write off? Is Julia a tax write off? My I'm jeweler sure said it's a tax a write off. My jeweler said it the other day. I got these. these. By the way, don't. This is Chad Ochocinco. Like, don't let these chains fool you, please. They look nice. Yeah, they look nice. But yeah, it's a Chad Ochocinco. You know what I mean? It. So my thing. She said it's a, a, a write off. So I'm like, okay, you're a jeweler. Um, I trust you. If Julia's a write off, okay. So, hmm. can I fact check me? Is that? it because it's like self care, I guess, or something? That's I don't right. know. I have, I have insurance on my wife's ring, and so if you got insurance on the rings and jewelry, then I would think there's some other things that you're affording. So yeah, that's true. I hope so. We'll see. Fact check me. All right. That makes sense. That makes right. Sense. He's like, all right. So I'm, I'm, I'm buying it. I know. I know nothing about taxes. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Somebody's coming after uh, me yeah. eventually. Oh, no, <laughs> taxes in ten Listen, years. Are you a comedian? Did you do comedy in your in your past life? I would have. I would love to. Do, do that, but I just I don't have the balls for it. <laughs> who, did, who does he sound like to you? Just Seth Rogen. Okay. Oh my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't hear it until this week, but then he said Wait, that. How I'm long like, have you known him for? Six years. <laughs> Wait, so you guys do a podcast? You listen to each other every yeah. day. Wait, have you seen Pineapple Express? Have you oh, seen of course. I'm a huge Seth, Seth Rogen guy. Uh, yeah. Neighbors? Have you seen Seth Rogen's movies? Oh yeah, all of them. What, what other movie did he have? He had the. Uh, he was. We're yeah. talking about the uh, the dictator. Is that him? Yeah. He uh, was in that. Yeah, he was in that one. Yeah. He was like the bodyguard, like the boyfriend of like the president. She was like the president. He was like the boyfriend or something like oh, that. Oh, no, that was um, uh, the, the, the vote or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah you get it. You get it. <laughs> it's really but, good. Dude, so this is the first time you heard him sound like Seth Rogen. I just, I just never made that connection. I don't know. Maybe I knew him too well. That I, yeah, like, I think you were like in it, you know? Yeah. Like sometimes you got to bring yourself out and be like, oh, Seth Rogen. But now that's all I hear. And, and the visual <laughs> is much different, <laughs> I, I would like to think. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is Did different. You sound just like, I can't even get it. <laughs> What time is it? I mean, yeah. we've been here for five minutes. You sound like South Rogan. 
All right, man. <laughs> there go. Wow, that's cool. Have you met Seth Rogen yet? I haven't. If he's on Radio Row, we're going to call him yeah, over. Yeah, we're going to set that up. Seth. Oh, there he is. No, no what you sounded like. My, my, one of my Twitter fans, uh, that's a big supporter of mine, his, uh, his, he was uh, listening to our podcast, and his wife is like, why is Seth Rogen talking about Rams football? <laughs> I, like, I like football. This, this is cool. We're going to get some drinks at one time. You guys yeah, are cool man. Guys. You guys yeah. are cool guys. Well, not cold lemonade. Not drinks of liquor. Le- no, 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 no. Cold lemonade. That's right. Cool Do we all drink? Do y'all drink? Yes. Yes. Not now. Like not right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> lemonade. We'll but, get lemonade. Uh, yeah. I'm not drinking this weekend. It's Super Bowl week. I'm not drinking this weekend. Sorry, guys. But we're in LA. We'll get a cold lemonade. I got to lock in this week. Here, here. What? I, I what? Are, what are, let's talk a little LA. We're all LA guys. We're we're on the opposite sides of LA. But yeah. uh, what are your favorite spots in Los Angeles? Oh man, Plot Provisions. <sighs> Right by the beach. I was just there. I just went there for the first time. That is a bomb uh, uh, breakfast sandwich. Have you been? I have. It's oh, great. You love it. Okay, yeah. I love it. I mean, so my wife and I, we live seven minutes away, so we just drive down, and we go we go run at the beach there. So five revisions, we go run. I do Tai Chi at the little Tai Chi spot right there. Pick Tai Chi up this year. Because, you know, I'm playing football, and I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. You can go tackle somebody in corporate America. You can't do that. So my wife, she's pretty. You know, and she's like, how are you going to protect me? Are you going to tackle somebody, Cam? I'm like, no. So let me learn how to defend myself. So I've been doing Tai Chi. And it's been like a yoga, martial arts. So it's been really nice. We just had Quint, just Quint, Quentin Lake on. Okay. He just he just uh, picked up Taekwondo. Yeah, it's you, – you learn you learn the body. You learn um, movement. You learn, It's more mental. Um, you, you challenge your brain. <clears throat> Highly suggested. I How's think we're going to have to steal this guy away from Jake. Yeah. We're going to. I think so. Oh, oh so <laughs> Jake. How's our guy Jake Ellenbogen, man? Yeah. So how's that going? Believe in Rams. You guys are crushing it, man, obviously. Believe in Rams. Yeah, we recorded uh, Tuesday. Tuesday in the hotel. Then we did Bleach Report today. So Jake's the man. Um, shout out to him, man. He's going through a lot. You never know what people are going through. That's one thing, too. When you get yeah. on Radio Row, be nice out here because you don't know what people are going through. You know that. Being in L.A., you see people all the time. Yeah. One day they're doing this. Other day, you know. Shoot, they're out there, Santa Monica, you know, yeah. Venice Beach, and this is the truth. So, Jake is going through some stuff right now, and he podcasted today. He had a death in the family. Sorry, Jake, I don't, you know, I want to share your news, mm-hmm. but yeah. it's something that he knew about. And he podcasted today. I said, I had a call him before. I said, all right, bro, I know we're Bleach Report is a big deal. Yeah. But I said, you good. Like, let's talk about it. This is pregame. Let's talk about it. And we, we chatted five to ten minutes, and I tell him, like, man, you you podcast a lot. You work hard. But, Jake, you have to take take, take care of yourself. Yeah. He said, stays up to 4 a.m. We got a Grind, podcast man. at 10. And I'm like, Jake, I get it. You're grinding. But you've got to take care of yourself. I'm calling Jake. I'm like, Jake, wake up. I got to call you. And he's asleep. And I'm like, because you're grinding hard. You don't realize your body doesn't know you need this this like self-care. And so yeah. there's prayers out of him and his family right now. Man, he's going through it. He's grinding. And Super Bowl week is the biggest week he wants to be here. But he can't. Yeah. Because he got, he got the news this morning. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, we'll reach well, out shout out to Jake. Shout out to Jake. Shout out yeah. to Jake. My yeah, guy. man. My good guy. job. Good yeah. dude. Real good, good dude. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Rams, the absolutely. Rams family know Jake. I mean, you all are just the, the community. So, um, yeah, man. Shout out to Jake. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. since doing the show, how has it been getting back, like, in the Ram League, being all in it and stuff, and, you know, going through all the social media? And man, how's that been? man. So, we were on Bleacher Report today, bro, and I was getting flamed on Bleacher Report. People are crazy. How well, do y'all deal with that? People are crazy. When people flame y'all, like, I'm looking <laughs> through the comments, I'm like, why are y'all? Like, they've never flamed me before, mind you. Normally have like a, a white background. Y'all see on our show. Normally have a white background. Bland. Boring. Because I travel a lot. Today I had the stadium. You know, it was Vegas. It was a nice back. It was a nice backdrop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was kind cool of a stadium. I kind of felt bad for people. I'm like, damn, I am here in Vegas. I'm not already a row, but I'm in my hotel. Podcasting. They were they were flaming me. I was like, All what, right. what, what are they lighting you up about? Anything. I had ah. so anything. Anything. I had my Kobe shirt on anything. Anything. <laughs> They were like, yep, nope, shut up. And they were, say, they were saying some, some crazy derogatory stuff. And I'm like, all right, yeah. What were they saying? Some crazy stuff. I had to put my shades on. I had shades in. I don't have on me right now. I had to put my shades on because I was like, guys, this is Bleach Report. You're talking crazy. Put my shades on. I had to give them my three takeaways. And I was like, all right, I'm, we, we podcast for 30 minutes. I'm like, all right, y'all are crazy. So how do y'all deal with that? I, you know, I tune it out. I mean, I, I okay. really, I, you know. It hurt yeah. my feelings a little bit. Yeah, well, our I guy, mean, if, we're, if we're calling people out, our guy, Will, who's around here somewhere, he covers a, he covers UCLA, and okay. literally yesterday we posted a little clip, and he just got dragged through it for no reason. 
And so, it, yeah, he took it hard, though. He took Wait. it hard. So how do you, like, mental health, right, self-care, like, how do you, people say stuff like, yeah, your, your chain sucks, it's fake. I'm like, well, it's not fake, but it's also not $300,000. Like, yeah. you, know, how, you know, how do you navigate that? I don't, I don't know if there's the right answer. Yeah. yeah. Just, I mean, no. Do people know that though? Like people that are watching, like that are giving us comments, like. You know it. You know I go. Know that? I I go to the uh, great scholar Michelle Obama when they go low. I, I just stay high. <laughs> All right. And I, apparently yeah. the great scholar Seth Rogen too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you're hilarious. He's he's a great great co-host. You're, you're, great. you're bringing some good stuff out of me. Yeah, I, I, I like. Yeah, you're, I, I'm like this guy's hilarious. Uh, Where have you been all day? <laughs> this is. I mean, I'm talking to people out here. It's cool. You know, you guys realize this. It's your craft. Not everybody's good at what they do. I yeah. I started Very off my true. yeah. Very true. I, I started off my day on the wrong foot. Today. 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 How? I I I locked myself out of my out of my hotel room in Vegas. By the way, tell them about how locking yourself out. You have to go down the. All the way down, okay. and I didn't have my credential. Where are you staying? Where are you staying? Luxor. Oh, dude. Which is a walk. That's like a, that's got to be two miles. Wait, really? To get to the front desk? No, no, yeah. no, no. From from he here. He walked all the way here and then didn't have his credentials. So I had to go all the way back. <laughs> didn't have a room key. So then came back to get the key for me. Yeah. I was, that happened today. That happened today. I was so mad. So... <laughs> I got the coffee. I got yeah. my I got my my life pointed in the right direction, and yeah. and, and and now you're I'm. You here, uh, man. You here? Yeah. You made, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't know that though. But a couple you know. drags of milk thistle, and he's back on his feet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> milk thistle. <laughs> wow. People don't know that though. Like you're here podcasting, people are looking at you. They're like, man, you guys, Ryan's, y'all are crushing it. And you're like, dude, I had to go through hell to get here. Yeah. You know, yeah. Some, sometimes we, uh, you know, we'll get on, and I can just tell Ryan's, you know, been dealing with his daughter all morning. Well, how and old's your, how old's your daughter? Uh, she's three. She, Ado- any tips? Ad- adorable. Oh, really? Yeah. She's any, the any, any tips? So, so you know, my wife, she's thirty-three. I'm thirty. Sorry, wife, for telling your age. But it's you know, my wife's three older than me too. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah. talking about cradle my robbers. age yeah. or or my <laughs> girl's cradle. age. That's not nice. See, you can't say cradle robbers. <laughs> you can't say cougar. You can't do that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Ernique. That's my wife's name. Her uh, name is Ernique. Expecting a- Ernique. So oh, Ernique. Like, like Aaron and then Eek. So or like yeah, Ernique. Ernique. Yeah, I like it. That's great. So are you guys expecting or just uh, kind of planning time, ahead? Praying on it. Plan for healthy. Praying for just whatever that is. That's yeah. I mean, the only advice I always tell people is, as a dad, all you gotta do is be present. Like, there's so many things that are gonna go wrong. There's so many like you can read books and like certain things to do. All you gotta do is just be there. Just be a present father, and it's like goes like. Seeing your daughter or son or whatever that light up when you're like home and around, it's the most rewarding thing ever. That's the best advice I think I've heard in a minute from someone. I said, as I asked a lot when I got married, say, hey, give me some advice to get married, you know, get married. They said, get your checkbook out, write what she wants, do what she wants. Yeah. I'm like, dude, that's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> There's more than that. You need a lawyer, you need two of them because the event planner might cancel on you because, you know, or the dressmaker might mess up your, you know. I'm going on a list here. I don't want to vent about my wedding, but people are bullshit. Oh, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to cut. You're nah. good. But thank you for that advice. I'm just saying it's 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 important to me because wow. being present is important to me. Even for my wife, I'm like, hey, let's get off our phones to be present. And so that sticks with me because I focus on being present. You know, I talk about leaving here at three thirty, being intentional. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be out of here, man. I'm trying to be present, be with my wife. My wife's here. She's pretty. I'm trying to be with her. Oh, it's great. Here is great with y'all. It's great. You know, I'm gonna spend time. We're gonna look up in L.A. Y'all gonna meet her. So, but I'm trying to be with my wife, so I appreciate that. That's good, yeah, as you should be. So we'll get uh, we'll get you out of here. I don't know if you have any more, uh, but one Rams question I'll get yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's talk about Rams. One <laughs> Rams question, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, since that's what we all do. Uh, yeah. Here, oh, wait, you got 49ers fans over here. What's going on? <laughs> They're everywhere. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah everywhere. It's in the Super Bowl. They are in the Super Bowl. No big deal. I'll just keep it kind of a simple one. And yeah. You guys, you and Jake, I'm sure have talked about it a ton, but. How surprised were you by this year? I mean, what a fun year for this oh, team. What a great coach. Who, for the 49ers and the Chiefs? Or? No, for the Rams. Oh, the Rams in general. Going 10 and 6. Sorry, I was still thinking about 10 the 49 I was, I was, I was, We did that at the beginning of the show. I was seeing red. Done. I was seeing red just now. I was like, 49ers. I was like, fuck you. Oh, sorry. I can't cuss them here. But yeah. You can, you can cuss all you want. <laughs> yeah, you can say whatever you want. Yeah. YouTube doesn't mind. Sorry, but Rams. Uh, yes, this year, very surprised. Sean McV- well, I've been saying this. Stan Kroenke. He won with the Rams. Oh, he's counting. I was like, oh, he's counting me down. But he's one with every, all of his yeah, teams. Yeah, he's, yeah. One all, he's like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's one with all his teams. So I, was, I was forgetting, so I was like, you know what, let me just say all of his teams. But hockey, hockey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hockey, those lacrosse, hockey, 
like he's one with all his teams. And the, the common denominator is the who, the people. Mm-hmm. People are the most important things. When you drive a bus, you got to get the right people on the bus. Sean McVay got the right people on the people on the bus. I was a little nervous at the beginning of the year. They got everybody off. Ramsey, everybody off. And I was like, me and Jake were depressed. We were like, bro, what are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Then the draft came. You see Steve Avila, Puka Nakua. I think Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup. I, my guys argue. I would take I would take Puka over Cooper. Yeah, I think you we'll agree. See, we'll, we'll see if Cooper gets healthy. I mean, that's the big question. And that's everything, right? Like, think about LeBron James. 20 years, he's still healthy. Yeah. Talk it's, about self-care. I mean, like, yeah. he's spending like yeah, a, for his feet, apparently. a million dollars. <laughs> Did you see that photo going around? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> we'll like leave it. Jordan, I'm sure we'll, I LeBron one day. I don't want to be like, we'll hey, leave it at that. Talking about my feet on the TV. <laughs> 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 well, when you say it like that, then it sounds terrible. <laughs> like, oh, man. Yeah, okay. What are you going to say? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, I, I don't remember, but I'll, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pivot. Somebody's taking a picture, so I don't pose. All good. All good. All good. <laughs> I'll, I'll, pi- I'll pivot right, back to Sean McVay. You played under him uh, in 2017 when he first yeah. joined. Tell me, what what was that like? What, what was the big difference? What was, you know, what, what makes him such an exceptional coach? Leader. He's a leader of people. I mean, you think about Raheem Morris. He, seven people left. Leader yeah. of people, his impact. This, I was at church recently in L.A. Um, Zoe L.A. Shout out to Zoe. And they say, events don't change people, people change people. You got a leader of people, they're going to change your whole organization. You got Stan Kroenke, who's a great people leader, and you hire other people leaders. And he is that, Sean McVay is that. And leadership has no age. Great ideas have no age. So if you're five and you're a leader, great job. If you're Sean McVay, you're the youngest head coach in the league, or used to be, mm-hmm. then you're the best leader that you know. You know, And he is that. And so I, people just don't overthink it. <laughs> he's a great leader. And same thing in business. Same thing for this company. You know, I like football. It starts from top down. Oh, and this is your company. It is, yeah. Top down. Yeah, and, Congrats. and great people. And Congrats, great people. you made it here at Radio Row. Thank you. It, it matters. It matters in anything we do. Business, yeah. family, whatever structure. You think of any structure, any community. It starts at the top. 100%. So we talk that. all the time about the, the Rams culture, and it's like they they work towards building people to lead. And that's what you want in a good company. Yeah. It's like if, if people are pulling you. from your company, your team, that's you're doing the right you're thing. Good. If you're protecting people to not leave, you're not running things the right way. You're, you're tr- and that's the thing is like with say a close fist is not received. Alabama, think about Nick Saban. He all the coaches are they're all head coaches. Yep. You think about Bill Belichick, all of his coaches are head coaches, all his players are head coaches. That means whatever you're delivering, they can cook that and make it just as just as well or something close yeah. and at an elite level. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You know, you, y'all know yeah. some stuff, man. Well, so I may be the world's biggest Ernest Jones fan. Oh, uh, wow. I wasn't a year ago. Uh, you said surprise. That was a surprise for me. Yeah. I, at first I was like, yeah, but you know, I'm a linebacker. So I'm like, you yeah. can't just come be a linebacker over here, buddy. I'm watching you. He's automatic. To you call a blitz, he's getting it every time. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah I need to call more of. <laughs> <laughs> like, get that guy blitzing. <laughs> Shula's there. He's, yeah. he's a guy. Yeah, he's going to yeah. do a great job. You think you think that's uh, that was a good that was a great move? Absolutely. All right, man. <laughs> I, I played with Shula, so I was there when Shula was there. Yeah. Shula and McVeigh are boys. Shula, he's. I talked with Jake about this. Two are blue in the face. Shula's waited his time. You think about people. You think about Radio Row. You see the people who are the janitors, people who are cleaning stuff up. Shula did that, mm. and he also owned Love the that. building. Yeah. So not only did he sweep the building, but he owned the building. Shula, his dad, the legacy. We get it, right? People can Google Shula. I don't have to tell you all that. But he, the janitor, he's the CEO. He does it all. So that, that meant you get it. That mentality is really important. Whether you're, you know, working in corporate America, whether you're at Radio Row, it don't matter. Be a great person and do the tough stuff. Do the tough jobs and find success. And they, they've all done that. People that I've named, those leaders, they've all done that. 100%. Yeah. Sorry, I see wifey's calling, so <laughs> all good. <laughs> hey, yeah, my wife might be calling, too. I'm going to look at my phone. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, perfect. With that, we'll get you out of here. I think we're going to be starting, like, a life advice podcast with Cameron Lynch here. We were dropping some – somebody's got to write this stuff down. Yeah. What we came up with, we stay record. present, stay high, uh, and then uh, – be, nice. <laughs> be, nice. be nice. Be nice. Be nice. That's all. Just be nice. Brought to you by Milk Thistle. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milk yeah. Thistle. <laughs> thistle you, the milk. If, if, you, if, if, you ha- if you like drinking, get yourself some Milk Thistle. <laughs> there you go. So – Cam, you're the man. Appreciate yeah. you. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Make sure to check out Believe in Rams. What's the other production company you said you started? So Hardwork Media. I have a media company, Hardwork Media. I started it when I was playing. Love so it. So I went 2018 Radio Row, and I was like, wait, I can do this. 
like this right here. This is my goal. Next year, Hard Work Media Podcast, yeah. me and Jake, here. Well, so hopefully we'll be right next to y'all. However we can help, we'll do that. So, yeah, we'll get uh, your credentials. But thanks Appreciate for coming on, all right? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.